to my film and TV channel another so far so mm, yeah I'll tell you what it is it's uh, yeah four episodes in out of seven this time so we're over halfway through this one but uh, yes I thought I'd update it not wait, can wait another three weeks for this to, to come to an end we're gonna look at uh, an American history historical drama on uh, Apple, on Apple TV, Apple Plus. So uh, we're going to look at something called Manhunt. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications, everything, film and TV. Great to have you on Bird, 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 uh, stuff like this. So total series reviews, depending if I can binge watch them or watch them weekly like this one. Or get me to, or get me uh, teeth sorted out on a tongue. Uh, so great to have you on board. Please spread the word. And if you check through the channel, you see lots of stuff and also stuff on Manchester City, of course. So if you have any interest in Manchester City or you know someone who might have, um, if you're not interested yourself, uh, point me in my direction. I'll be very, very grateful. But today it's TV and it's uh, historical drama television, of course. So we've got this manhunt. Uh, give us a like, guys, if you can. If you can do that, that would be wonderful. Uh, created by showrunner Monica Beletsky. This one adapted from James L. Swanson's book, Manhunt, The 12-Day Chase for Lincoln's Kill. Yeah, very succinct title there. It's a little bit longer than you'd like. And the series follows Edwin Stanton's search for John Wilkes Booth in the aftermath of Abraham Lincoln's assassination. Other things come into this as well. Other bits of stories that uh, uh, at the time, very interesting. Uh, make you zoom away to your encyclopedias or go on the internet to find out things. Carl Franklin directed and British actor, of course, Tobias Menzies plays, plays Stanton in this. Uh, but lots of familiar faces, of course. As said, the series was produced for Apple TV Plus and was released initially on March the 15th and the last episode will air on April the 19th and I'm recording this on March the 31st so we've still got uh, two and a half weeks to wait for that one but uh, I'll, I'll tell you how it is so far, four episodes in. This also stars Anthony Boyle, Lovey, Lovey Simone, there's a great name, Will Harrison, Brandon Flynn, Damien O'Hare, Glenn Morshower, Patton Oswalt, Matt Walsh, Hamish Linklater. So lots of, he's Abraham Lincoln. So lots of uh, good stars in this. My thoughts. I mean, this is a well put together series, as you'd expect. A uh, bit of money spent on it. Good sets. Uh, how realistic they are to the time. I don't know. I'm not a, I like history, but I'm not going to tell you that uh, that stagecoach wasn't around at that time in the time period or stuff like that. All those guns weren't around. But I'm sure someone will somewhere. A uh, good cast, plenty of facial hair going on, as you'd expect. Uh, I remember the film, was it? I think it was in two parts, wasn't it? Back in the 90s, I think. Gettysburg, part one and two. Uh, some mean moustaches and beards in that one, but uh, yeah, this doesn't do too bad. It's basically a police procedural drama set back in time. Uh, we won't see Vera popping up in a trench coat or raincoat, but the order and flashbacks of the series gives us a easy understanding of what's going on and the hunt for the president's killer. But of course you get other little bits and pieces as well. There's con conspiracies in this, which you'd expect. No grassy knoll though for this one. I also enjoyed it when it deviated from the man and give you a little bit of rest from that and concentrated on some of the political problems of the time, of course. In a series like this, it's as I said, uh, mentioned before, as you're reaching to check certain apparent facts uh, about Wall Street and stuff like this. And if you go away and check other things to see the realism of it all, it's never a bad thing for me, whether it's dramatic license or, or true to what's known. Um, I always like that side of a series if it makes you think and makes you want to find out a little bit more. I mean, sometimes, yes, the pace does need a little bit of shaking up. It does slow, t slow down from time to time. I've seen a couple of critics call it boring, but... Uh, I think the characters are always interesting and it doesn't delve or, d or dwell on uh, certain scenes too long so it never gets uh, overly tiresome, certainly not for me anyway. So uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it so so far, so yeah, good for me, yeah, definitely. Uh, fresh, Rotten Tomatoes, I'll be positive on Metacritic and at this point in time I was hovering, I was hovering on 6.5 but I'm going to push it to a 7 out of 10. Uh, it may well come down to 6.5 after the 7 episodes, but uh, 4 episodes in, I'm still enjoying it. So I'll give it a 7 out of 10. I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Up for scores, as at the 31st of March, well, Rotten Tomatoes, 86% approval. That's good, based on 29 uh, critics. And their consensus says, dramatised a flashpoint in American history with hot, bloody performances and contemporary resonance, Manhunt transcends the trappings of Wax Museum recreation to deliver addicting entertainment. 
that's a pretty, pretty smart writing there. Metacritic, they give it 65 out of 100, so not quite as gushing, but still good. 22 critics, 10 were positive and 12 were mixed, so uh, interesting. But Ian Freer of Empire Magazine, Evie scored it an 80 and said, Well played and strikingly made, Manhunt is part crime, pot boiler, part political thriller, part historical overview, and each strand works a treat. Yeah, I don't disagree with Ian. Uh, Rock Tomatoes audience, Joe Public, which is all that matters really, doesn't it? Only 61% positivity, so okay. Uh, but then the Metacritic users, not a lot, only about 40 odd of them. 5.7 out of 10, so a little bit disappointing. But then we go over to Internet Movie Database for my final concluding fact. Over 1,600 scores and reviews as I'm doing this. And yes, a very, very healthy, similar to me, 7.2 out of 10, so... There you go, can't be too bad, can it? Let me know what you think, guys. Anyway, great to have your opinion, because that's what it's all is. It's all opinions. We can't all be the same. It'd be very boring if we were, wouldn't it? If we all have the same opinion of things. But uh, let me know what you think. It'd be great to hear from you. So we'll meet again. And that's one thing, don't we? Please stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.